Next up, we have this clapped out Ruger 1022 from Viking. Everything about this is so bad, I'm thinking about inventing time travel just to go back and convince William Ruger not to design the gun. Hey there Tundra Nation and welcome back to the channel and to another gun roast. All of these guns have been submitted by members of the discord so remember they asked for this and my writers are angry. Also just as a heads up if you can't tell I'm not feeling so hot today so don't take it personally if this roast is a little less salty than the others. I've been up all night screaming at what you're about to witness. So sit back hit that subscribe button for freedom and let's start the show. Real quick though, check out our sponsor for this video, Durkin Tactical, and get some amazing deals on some AR parts and accessories. Thanks to our sponsor, Durkin Tactical, your AR-15 superstore. You can find out more at DurkinTactical.com. Our first submission comes in from Drunk Slime, who must have been through a whole handle of cheap vodka and jello shots to come up with this. A 10 gauge H&R shotgun cut down and seracoded in a color scheme that clearly begs the question, Are you colorblind? Let's talk about that. Slime, at first I thought you were hanging out in a Kroger parking lot huffing paint with some of our previous members' submissions, but then I saw this was a professional seracote job. Uh, what the heck, man? Slime, you clearly have more resources than good sense, and I would like to help you restore balance to your life. I can tell you are the perfect investor for my latest crypto slash NFT slash treasure hunting slash faking my death and running away with the money type of investment. I will be in contact shortly. This shotgun's foam dart paint scheme will guarantee your next lawn party will be a real banger. Be sure to print on the invite BYOMS, you know, bring your own medical supplies, because you and your neighbors will be bonding in a fun group activity as your guests frantically apply tourniquets in a real life game of operation. Bonus, the event will be ended by a spectacular light show provided by your local EMS services. An evening the neighborhood will be talking about for years. Next! Good evening. Tonight's top story, everything is awful. Up next is this rifle from Panzer 04. You clearly see yourself as the anti-authoritarian type, and we don't fault that, but a true rebel knows you can't go out flaunting it because that makes you a quick and easy target when the crackdown comes. Wait a minute. That's it. I should have seen this before, but you decided on this paint scheme because you couldn't put the crack down. Y'all act like crack is so bad. You went through all the trouble to put together a mostly decent rifle and then made it into a meme for funsies and to the dismay of the rest of us. You posted this out on the internet for the validation only your dad gave to those smokes that he went out for all these years ago. No step, more like keep waiting on the front steps. We're sure he'll come back now any day champ and no, I do not want to go play catch. Next up, we have this clapped out Ruger 1022 from Viking. Everything about this is so bad, I'm thinking about inventing time travel just to go back and convince William Ruger not to design the gun. And that's not a shot at the Ruger 1022. I happen to actually enjoy them. But you've retrofitted it with so much Amazon garbage, it is appalling. It's obvious you spent countless hours playing Call of Duty, not for the story or the multiplayer, but just messing around in the gun editor to create some horrific Franken guns, then seeking out all of the cheapest Wish.com parts you can find to copy it. That's nasty. Red dot and magnifier combo? Wrong. You should be using an LPVO, but actually this is reality and you should be using neither because it's a 20 freaking two. The round isn't going to go anywhere near the distances needed where you're going to have to use magnification. You have a bipod and an angled foregrip designed with the same care as a McDonald's Happy Meal toy and because nobody asked for it, you also have a laser with a pressure pad glued to the grip in case you have to go dark against some squirrel army attacking your home. And then there's the offset irons on a gun that's most likely gonna jam because you're not even using CCI mini mags. FYI, faux suppressors stop being cool before the first one was made, and if it is real, make sure to save your money next time and use it to check out our second sponsor of today's video. 
This video is sponsored by Spartan Armor Systems, makers of high-grade American-made body armor located in sunny Tucson, Arizona. From soft armor, composite, ceramic, and steel plate options, they've got a solution to your armor needs. You can find out more at SpartanArmorSystems.com. This comes in from Arcadian 1022 and oh my god. What in the name of St. Browning have you done to this A5? The Rhodesian brush war is over my man, you can stop. This shotgun is so bad that even soldier of fortune readers with multicam fishing vests are giving you the side eye. Who hurt you so bad that you thought it was a good idea to completely destroy this beautiful shotgun with an awful paint job? You butchering a classic in this way is unacceptable and it makes me think that you were the showrunner on the last season of Game of Thrones. You are the embodiment of the first person to put raisins on potato salad. Nobody asked for it and nobody likes it. I'd rather see this retrofitted with Tapco furniture and dremeled onto something unrecognizable and no! That was not a suggestion. In fact, get this thing off my screen before it taints me even further and we lose our sponsors. Next, Redneck85 submitted this 1969 nice Egyptian Hakeem. Millsurps, my friend, are for people who either are collectors and don't shoot or for people that live in banned states and are buying whatever can be found that won't end up with the local constabulary kicking down your door. So which is it? For you, I'm guessing the answer is both. The only reason your wife probably allows this subpar rifle in the house is because at least it isn't another outdated project that's going to take you 20 years to finish. There's nothing special about this thing, and that's the reason it was never adopted in mass numbers. Why would they? I mean, when the venerable SKS is a way better option in literally every single way. Name another prominent Egyptian made gun. Don't worry, I'll wait. The plainness of this rifle matches your dining room setup, and I'm guessing that's how your spouse describes how you make whoopee. Simple yet boring. Do us and your family a favor and put this rifle away before your wife founds out you had this horrendous gun on her table and help your kids learn to color inside the lines instead of playing video games. Hey, speaking of video games, you can come over and check out our shenanigans that we've been up to on Twitch by visiting us six days a week at twitch.tv forward slash Tundra Gaming Live. A link's going to be in the description below. Alan Powell submits this Flavor Town entry, an Arsenal Sam 7R that's been made California compliant. This AK is an overcooked filet mignon served to a customer that's upset about the lack of ketchup on the table. From its buffer tube adapter, sop mod stock, pick rail, and muzzle device, this hipster AK screams, I should have bought an AR, but I want to be a unique unicorn and watch me dance Uncle Mikhail. Come on, Alan, for the price of this AK with all of the modifications to make it more AR-like, you most likely could have bought a high-quality AR that's accurate and still had enough money left over to buy a second low-quality AR that still shoots better than this rifle. And don't you tell me differently, because if you thought you could hit anything past 200 yards with this rifle, there would be an LPVO on a side mount and not a filthy little red dot sitting up on the end of this rifle there, wouldn't it? Also, don't think we didn't notice the shameless attempt to distract us with that Guy Fieri flag in the background. Given the square creases in the flag, we can tell you don't bother to wash your new sheets before putting them on your bed. I can see your face buried in those sheets, inhaling that... Mmm, new sheet smell as your body presses against those hard, square creases. But Alan, we are not going to take your Fieri-shaped bait. What did Guy Fieri ever do to any of us? Nothing but inject flavor and hospitality into our lives. Trying to use him as cover is just sad, and we are moving on! Merlin575 submits this 9mm Spectre pistol from the Societa Italiana Technology Speciali, I think. I think he actually just tried to submit this rifle to hear me mangle the Italian language, and all I can say to that is, prego, the terrible accent. I don't do accents well, folks. 
This would be an awesome firearm, Merlin, if it was the sleek 1980s sub gun that Sights intended. But instead, what we have here is a neutered six pound stamp steeled abortion that's essentially Amber Heard's IMDB page. Looks cool until you read the recent news section. That's disgusting. The biggest problem with the sight subgun is that it asked militaries and police forces, who would you rather buy a complex firearm from? The Germans or the Italians? I'm sorry, Mario, but we all knew Helmut was going to win that fight from day one. The Spectre is 80s cool, and you can probably see yourself as Carlos the Jackal fighting the man while partying in a European discotheque. But the truth is, you probably caught this on an episode of Forgotten Weapons, and you bought it so people would think that you're worldly and intriguing at your local gun range. And I say to thee, Seguente! It's also probably wrong, by the way. And last on today's roast, we have Discord user Coyote, who sent in this absolute horror show. Stop it. Get some help. Coyote, do you fear change? Maybe science and progress all at the same time? Is there some magical life extending property to wood varnish that nobody's told me about? Because I don't understand why perfectly smart people who have jobs can dress themselves and pay bills want to replace the metal and polymer on their rifles with wood. Let me give you a clue about wood. It's hot, it's uncomfortable, it cracks, nothing but trouble. There is a reason we don't build spaceships and cars out of it. Coyote, it's it's just us here, man. Can you please tell me, is there some overcompensation going on? Is there some area of your life where you lack wood or maybe you're wood deficient? If so, you should go see your doctor and stop taking it out on that poor rifle because it did nothing wrong to you. Next up, we're gonna talk about that sling. You go through all the trouble to find perfectly matched wood with an even grain structure flowing all in the same direction and then you hand write with a sharpie marker on your sling like a serial killer leaving notes for the San Francisco PD. At least the Zodiac took some time to do some decoupage with his crazy notes. Congratulations, folks, you are the rare breed of Tundra fan that can handle a true roasting and my terrible voice right now. Drop yourselves a devil emoji in the comments down below to let the writers know how evil you thought they were on the guns that were mentioned in this video. Make sure you like the video if it made you chuckle even just a little bit, and don't forget to check out our buddies over at ARFCOM to see what they were up to this week. Don't forget to join us next week, folks, when we still don't know what the fuck we're doing. Bye.